Today, we're going to build a tank droid using 16 Lego pieces. These are all the pieces you are going to need. In the description of this video, I left the piece names, count, and design IDs. We're going to start with my favorite piece, the Travis Brick. And on the bottom of the Travis Brick, we've got that big old open hole. And on that open hole, I'm going to put a one by one round plate with open studs. I'm just going to put that open stud into the bottom of my Travis Brick so I get rid of that big old gapping hole so I can grab a T-bar piece and just put it into that one by one plate with open stud and it's not gonna fall out. So now I've got this piece secure. And now this is gonna be the front of my droid tank. And on the front, I'm gonna start creating those front treads. And to do that, I'm gonna grab this two by one slope piece that's grilled with the grill pattern on the slope. And what I wanna do is I'm gonna get the thin end of this slope and put it on the front stud of my Travis brick so that the thin end is attached and it slopes over that T-bar there on the bottom. So it looks like those treads are going forward as they kind of roll around the droid tank. Now, once I have that in place, I'm gonna turn it around and on the back of that Travis brick, I'm gonna get a two by one brick, slope brick, this one by two slope brick, and put it, same thing, thin end is gonna go on that back stud of the Travis brick and it's go over and down to the T-bar piece. Now, I want it to slope even more, it just kinda goes down at a 90 degree angle there. So on that stud, I'm gonna grab a cheese wedge slope and put the cheese wedge slope, once again, thin end on the top, sloping down to the bottom to kinda just create a more smooth slant to my droid tank here. Now, I am using light bluish gray for like the tank itself and dark bluish gray for the treads going around. But on this top stud, this is kind of like where the treads would go into the droid and down the back, I'm using a black one by one round plate with bar handle. And I'm gonna put it so that that plate goes on that top set of the Travis brick and the bar is over the back slope. Now the reason I'm using black is because since it's kind of going inside the tank, it kind of creates more of a shadowing effect with the, the treads, but also because I didn't have this piece in a, light, a dark bluish gray color and it actually worked out better that way. So sometimes, you know, when you're forced to make changes, it works out even better. I love Lego. So anyway, once I've got that in place, I'm gonna grab a one by one plate with clip and I'm gonna put that clip into the bar of that one by one plate with bar and then tilt it down so it's against that slope. It's kind of building out the droid's back right there. And then we're gonna continue the treads. And to continue the tread, I'm gonna get a one by two tile grill. So sometimes it's just a flat tile grill. But same thing, I put the end of the grill piece onto that back stud of my one by one plate with clip, and it goes down the slope of my droid here to create the uh, tank droid's like center treads. Now, once I've got that in place, on the top, on the top of that one by one round plate with the handle, that top stud, I'm gonna get a pair of minifigure binoculars. And these are gonna be the droid's eyes. So I'm gonna put those droid's eyes on that top stud facing forward so now the droid can actually see what it's attacking. And now once that's in place, I've got a droid, but this thing's a tank. It needs to be armored. And to create that armor on the side, I'm gonna grab two of these two by two inverted radar dishes and just put them on the side studs of my Travis brick above the T-bar that's on the bottom. So let's put those on the side. Now I've got my armament, but where are my weapons? And for the weapons, for those side cannons, I'm gonna get two one by one round plates with one L bar and just stick it on the studs of those inverted radar dishes facing forward so it can start attacking those clones and Wookiees that are pestering the uh, clone or the uh, droids. So there's the uh, snail droid tank here, the tank droid, but we still need those bottom treads. And for the bottom treads, I'm gonna grab two one by two rounded plates. And you've got those studs sticking out on the top. What I wanna do is I'm actually gonna put those on the inside. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put those studs facing inside and into the side of that T-bar, the bar of the T-bar, and toward the front. So they're hanging over the front and covering that tank tread in the front like this. And so I'm gonna do that to both sides. And the reason you're doing that backwards is because I don't want those studs sticking out. I want that kind of hollow look of like a tank tread. But here is a completed tank droid for the separatists to use against the Republic. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe or check out some of our other videos. Until next time, let's keep building together.